I think I'm like halfway through filming my eye makeup and realised that I had not even pressed record on this camera. Hi guys, it's been such a long time since I've seen you all. Before I do get into life updates, I just want to talk about the state of the room, the state of me, and I sound sick because I have just gotten over like a flu that the whole house was brought down with. Paddy went off to Edinburgh to a stag, came home and he was sick and just it infected the whole household so I have been sick for the best part of a week now and I'm just kind of over it but anyway if I sound and look horrendous that's your reason why so first off I am so thankful that there's still people here watching <laughs> like hello how are you guys it's been so long since I've seen you all and I missed you so much you have no idea how much I missed YouTube but I just I'll get into why I kind of haven't been filming it in a moment yeah I just want to say thank you so much to all you guys who've been patient and I've been getting your messages on Instagram and I've seen like comments on videos here and stuff like where are you what's going on are you okay so yes, I am perfectly fine, other than been a little bit under the weather last week. Everything else is fantastic in my life. Also, I should kind of address like one of the main things. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you may not know this, but Patty and I got engaged, <laughs> which is absolutely and utterly thrilling. Um, one of the most exciting things to ever happen, other than having no one meeting Patty. I am so honestly blown away. Was not expecting it at all. I know we kind of discussed marriage and stuff obviously like we were saying you know was it something that we we're interested in and I had kind of come to the conclusion and kind of just had put it out there I was happy either way if I never got engaged never got married I didn't really care because in my eyes I'd met my partner and like any time before when I had really wanted to get married it was all kind of about like an unstable toxic unhealthy relationship and I just kind of thought that maybe that would fix everything it wasn't even about the love for another person because when you meet like that person that you are so in love with and you know they're your person the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with you don't really care whether you have a ring in your finger or not like you just are happy to be with them everything's really smooth there's no kind of issues, it's smooth sailing, happy out, um, you don't really care whether you get married or not. Well, that's the way I was feeling about it, I just didn't really care. It was just something that was surprising to me because I wasn't expecting it, but it was like the happiest surprise ever. It happened Christmas morning, so I came down Christmas morning and there was like roses all over the staircase and candles everywhere. He had organized this the night before when I had gone to bed and I didn't even realize what he was doing, obviously. But when I got up Christmas morning, he was like, you can't go downstairs yet. And I was like, but Santa's come. Like, and I want to bring Noah down. He was like, I'm taking Noah down first. Then you come down after. And then when I came down, Noah was there with a box in our living room. Paddy opened it, got down on one knee, asked me would I marry him and presented this beautiful ring. And <laughs> after I said yes, he was like, no, that's not your forever ring. It's just like a token ring. You know, I'd like you to pick out your forever ring. But I've kind of fallen in love with this little token ring as he calls it it's just a piece of jewelry and I know that sounds so bad for like it being a token ring I think it's really beautiful I love it unless I see something that really blows me away and that I'm really like drawn to like I'd be happy enough with this ring as for wedding plans we kind of haven't discussed like too much we haven't started planning or anything like that just because the house has been obviously our main priority and even still going into the new year it's still been a big priority like we're getting built-in wardrobes in this room hence why it's like a just a mess of clothes. We were organizing that and then we're getting one for Noah's room and we're just trying to get other bits and pieces for the house and I just haven't really thought too much about wedding plans. It is looking like we are going to go abroad, something small. To be honest, I'd go down to the court and just get married. Paddy wants kind of a celebration so I we've come to the conclusion that something overseas would be perfect something small, intimate, in the summertime. I'm not sure which summer. After all the house stuff is nearly finished, I think then we'll look into planning the wedding. I'm in no big rush and yeah, I don't think Paddy's minds either way. It's He's kind of left it up to me in that end. He's like, whatever you want, we'll do. I kind of just want to wait until the house is finished. That is my main priority at the moment getting everything done here. The last time I did like a life update was June last year and I was not well at that time. I had to go to my doctor and I was actually diagnosed with postpartum depression. I just thought that I was going through the motions of after having a baby and I know like my baby was over a year old. I was still kind of feeling not myself. So yeah, the last time I'd spoken to you, I 
about like any sort of major life updates. I had just been prescribed medication. Now I'm still on that medication and I may need to be on that medication for life. I don't really care either way. It helps me function a lot. I guess it kind of slows down my brain. It reduces like any major anxiety that I have and definitely has reduced symptoms of depression. I just felt like I was doing a really bad job in every aspect of my life, being a mother, being a partner in my job, being a daughter, sister, you know, like everything. I just felt like I was failing. I've been a friend and every single thing. Now, everybody in my life has been totally understanding and I know I've spoke to you guys at length before about like my mental health struggles and stuff and I, I you know, I think that's just an ongoing part of my life is that I suffer with my mental health in a negative way and you know, it's just part and parcel of what makes me me, I guess. There's no shame in it. If there's any part of your body that's not functioning properly, if your thyroid is underacting, if you're a diabetic, if you have an autoimmune disorder, you'll take medication for those things. If your brain doesn't function properly, you'll be on medication for it and I have absolutely no shame in it and I don't really think there's kind of anything shameful about being on it. And I just actually think it's more important to look after your mental health and talk about things. I actually think since last June, I've really started to look after like my mental health more than I ever did in all of the years before. Because I actually know it's something that I need to, you know, keep tabs on and keep an eye on. Whenever I start feeling a bit low or whatever, I'd speak to Patty or I speak to my mum, my dad, my sister, wherever. I kind of prioritise my mental health and I just think that's really important. And I'm sure there's some people probably looking at me going, what have you to be anxious about? Or what have you got to be depressed about? Or you have everything in your life, everything you've ever wanted. Anybody who says something like that has no idea how the brain works. It's not an outward thing. It's like turning around to somebody with an autoimmune disorder and saying, you know, you have everything in your life. Why, why do you have asthma? Or why do you have diabetes? You know, it's the same thing with mental illness. All got to do with the brain functioning. A lot of that as well is the reason why I was getting so many migraines too so I was prescribed medication for my migraines also which has absolutely and utterly changed my life. I cannot stress to you guys how happy of a person that I am since getting the medication for my migraines. It has given me my life back. It's just been one of the best things ever. So yeah I definitely recommend anybody suffering with migraines to go and speak to your doctor and see if there's any, you know, things that you can do. I tried, I mean everything. And you guys would know that from looking at my vlogs. Like I have done every sort of therapeutic thing to help my migraines from food diaries to taking herbal remedies, from supplements, from early nights, from like everything. I've literally tried it all. You know, the only thing I don't think I had tried was acupuncture, which somebody had said was supposed to be really good. But like, I mean, I tried everything else other than acupuncture um, and the medication has been my lifesaver and has worked so well. And I'm just so thankful every day. So what else do I wanna to talk to you guys about? Engagement, mental health, <laughs> everything going really well. Yeah, work, I guess. Work has been really, really, really busy and I was moved to apartments as well. Yeah, not to toot my own horn, but my manager had said to me that I was such a quick learner and really, really fast at my work. And one of the department sections was really under pressure coming up to Christmas. Like they were really understaffed and, just the workload was outrageous. Uh, it was a completely new section to what I've ever worked in before. So I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> I had to do training and everything all over again. And I was only in the other section for less than a year, just like 11 months. So it was kind of crazy. And I was thrown in at the deep end, like when they were so busy as well, but I'm getting on really, really well. And I was asked if I wanted to stay in that section or move back to the other one. I decided to stay where I was sent to because just no other reason than I'm just kind of happy there. And I really like the team that I'm working with. I love the team that I was working with before, but I'm just really, really, really happy where I am right now. And I just like the workload and it's quite busy and fast paced. And I actually think that that's where I'm thriving or, you know, just what I'm what I'm really enjoying, what I really like. I'm kind of one of those people who gets a little bit bored if I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. Even though I was only in my previous section for not that long, 
I was just kind of like, okay, I'd like to try something else. So I'm, I'm happy to stay where I am for now and we'll see what happens. You know, I might be moved again or I might have to move back or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just take it in my stride. So I also went for promotion in work and I've been kind of like working towards that, I guess. So I got through to the next round. I don't know if I'm going to take it or not. Like, I don't even know if I would get the job. It's always important to kind of improve yourself and go for things and take new challenges in life. Gonna take it as it comes, play it by ear as they say. So that's the kind of reason why I've just kind of let YouTube fall into the background and it's like no fault of my own. It's just life, I suppose. I haven't been neglecting it on purpose. Like I think about YouTube all the time. I dream about it. I'm like, I wanna make a video. I wanna sit down, I wanna film. It's constantly on my mind. I love it so much. I love talking to you guys. I love creating content. I love everything about YouTube and I miss it more than anything. It's just finding the time. So whenever I do find the time, I'm just gonna sit down and film. Even if it's like videos that you know, or just vlogs or maybe just catch up videos or just chatty videos or whatever. I'm just gonna film whatever I feel. I've really gotten back into makeup lately as well. Like I just feel like since I kind of got everything else in my life under control health wise and you know, family wise and everything, I've really like fallen back in love with makeup all over again and I'm using it so much more. And like, I don't put makeup on every single day, but I'm constantly like looking at what's new coming out and I become kind of selective about what I wear now makeup wise. Like I only wear it a few days in the week. I've kind of unsubscribed from a lot of PR lists and things like that. If there's something I really want, I'll reach out to you and ask because I just felt at one stage there was just so much makeup and all I was able to do was give it away because I wasn't able to use as much of it as I wanted to and then it was just expiring and so if there's anything in particular that I really want to try out I will just request that one item and yeah I just feel like that's just better for me so yeah I'm so appreciative of companies that send me things I really really am I absolutely I'm blown away when they're still like here look we want to send you this out can you review it can you talk about it on your social media and stuff and I'm always so blown away but I don't need everything so if there's something that I really see that I like I'm like yeah I'd like to try that out and then I just buy whatever I want to try out myself like recently I picked up some of these Huda Beauty products that I wanted to try out and I actually am in love with them I'm going to talk about products that I reach for a lot in 2023 in a video coming up there's so many things that going around on TikTok and particularly and on YouTube and stuff and people saying you need this you need this you need this and it's so much consumerism obviously from doing this for so long I've learned like there's you don't need everything you really don't and I just kind of want to talk about the products that I really really like and I think they're worth the price tag and you know I think that they're worth spending your money on. I mean my life is probably so boring at the moment you're probably looking at this going oh my god you have like nothing going on in your life but I'm so happy as long as my family are happy and healthy and still checking with you guys here as often as I want and I'm gonna try and do it a little bit more like now that I got a lot of things sorted with myself I just feel a little bit more I'm not capable of sitting down here doing videos and things like that. So I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you're having a great 2023. I cannot believe we're in the second week of March. Where's the time gone? I don't know. I'm glad to be able to check in with you today. I'm sorry if I'm like ranting and talking really, really fast. I am aware that I'm gonna be starting work very, very soon. So I just wanted to get this video filmed and I'm gonna edit it after work today. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye guys.